and welcome to Daily Dispatch powered by HSBC. I'm Mansi Fadnis and here's our news roundup for the day. Week one and two of the FinTech Open Month organized by Niti Ayo in collaboration with PhonePay saw leaders from various segments of the FinTech world discuss experiences, learnings and breakthrough ideas for the space. The final week will see an exciting hackathon where creative minds will come together to solve a problem and stand a chance to win 9 lakh rupees in prizes. To take part in the hackathon, visit the Niti Ayok FinTech Open Month website for more details. Over to Priya. A very warm welcome to Daily Dispatch powered by HSBC. I'm Priya Shait and joining me on this very interesting conversation is Vishal Gondal from Goki. Thank you very much, Vishal, for speaking with us. It's always a pleasure talking to you. But I want to begin by talking to you a little bit about the big news that's come into the market, $50 million in terms of a fundraise. What does this really mean to you at this point in time? Uh, first of all, thanks a lot, Priya, uh, for this. Like I was talking to you a little time before, uh, while fundraise is good, uh, it is. it just merely tells you that now you have the fuel, you still have to drive to your destination or take your ro rocket ship to orbit. So I think, uh, of course, the fuel is going to help us accelerate. Uh, our strategy is very clear right from the beginning. Goki's view was that wearables and all these devices are in itself of no use. What you need is integration with data insights and health coaching. And that's what we launched. Today, Koki's ecosystem has become a complete preventive healthcare ecosystem with integrations into health insurance, integration with uh, even providers of payments. As you know, we are working with Rupee, we are working with MasterCard, we are working with various banks. We are also working on uh, with health products and services. And finally, uh, the big area where I am really focused on is digital therapeutics because India uh, is the capital of diabetes, cholesterol, hypertension, you name it. And we have millions of people who are suffering from these conditions which are completely, which could be completely managed by just changing your lifestyle. So lifestyle diseases are going to be the focus for us. And we are using uh, this funding to create products and solutions to further help people improve their health with the chronic lifestyle management. Right. So when you talk about, uh, you know, focusing more on this area of digital therapeutics, uh, what kind of integrations can we expect via Goki? So Goki, first of all, we got all our devices approved as CDSCO medical grade devices. So our data accuracy is much higher, especially now that people are using Goki to measure their vital parameters. Secondly, we are integrating with uh, glucometers. We have a large partnership with Essentia uh, Contour Plus One glucometer. So Goki is fully integrated with other medical devices. And finally, we have created digital therapeutic solutions in partnership with our pharmaceutical partners. So we work with Abbott, we work with Sun Pharmaceuticals, we work with Boringer Ingram. And what we do is we create what is called a complementary therapy. So if let's say somebody is going through fatty liver disease or somebody has a problem of a post-stroke management, at that point of time, our coaching and our entire system integrates with the therapy itself. And we believe that a combination of preventive therapy along with the, the, you know, the lifestyle therapy which they are doing can help people manage and reverse their diseases. And interestingly, we have now backed a lot of this with clinical studies. We have published some of these studies. Some of these studies are still underway. But we believe that uh, with diabetes being a big area of focus for us uh, and similarly cardiovascular health, uh, digital therapeutics is really, really going to be key. Right. Uh, Vishal, I want to talk a little bit about some key metrics uh, that you uh, keep tracking, of course, in terms of devices, in terms of the kind of outreach that your uh, products have in the market. So tell us a little bit about uh, what's the kind of traction uh, Goki devices have seen uh, over the last one, one and a half years amid this pandemic. Uh, if you could just draw it out for us. So first of all, we are not a devices company. We don't sell devices. What you buy from Goki is a healthcare plan, uh, which depending on your healthcare condition might come with a lower end device or may come with a device like a smart vital, which can measure various parameters. So we believe that 
we are not a we are more like a saas healthcare platform where device is a data source so that's the way we look at this similarly we are not having any uh, free customers a lot of healthcare platforms have the freemium model where they are offering some kinds of free trials and then they convert them we believe that healthcare is a very serious use case and if somebody cannot spend even 500 rupees you know our plans can be as low as 500 900 2000 rupees then they may not be as serious about their health so we only have paid users coming into goki so our biggest metric really is about increasing our paid subscriber base and retaining these paid subscriber base and of course scaling revenue uh the pandemic has been a big push for goki because suddenly uh, you know i i i said that this is the demonetization movement for uh, health tech because everybody wanted to be at home and get remote diagnostics everybody wanted data i'm sure uh, all the viewers have now got some kind of a device to measure their blood oxygen level and other things which we didn't even know there was a measure like spo2 an average person didn't even know that so what has happened is people have got more aware of their health people have got more aware of uh, that they need to take care of themselves covid has shown that you may have how much ever money in your bank balance if you don't have good health you can fall prey to a virus as simple as that so uh, with that we almost saw a 200% growth in revenues and overall numbers and as we speak now we are targeting in the next 18 months that's the big goal the big audacious goal we have set for ourselves to get into the 100 million dollars revenue so i think that is a you know more important metric for us to get to revenue scale uh, which uh, and we already are having gross margins we already have so we already have a very good unit economics right that's the beauty of our model because consumers are paying for our services we are getting retained so all in all uh, you know we have built a solid model and we have a very very solid management team and that's why i'm very excited about what we are doing you said 100 million dollars is the kind of target that you've set for yourself uh, tell us a little bit about apart along with digital therapeutics what's going to really drive uh, this kind of growth going forward uh, and how soon do you expect to hit this benchmark that you've set for yourself so uh, apart from digital therapeutics our big focus will be on insurance we believe insurance is massively underpenetrated especially health insurance because it's very expensive the reason credit in india grew up so much is because of civil score everybody had a credit score and based on that you could say x person is higher risk and y person is lower risk credit risk similarly today in healthcare there is no such score which is accepted so insurance companies are unable to price it which is why premiums are very very high what we believe is that with the use of our data we will be able to provide our consumers unique scoring methodology which in turn will help insurers do better risk selection and offer incentives to people who are living healthier lifestyle so what we believe is as we increase the base of goki and make people healthier automatically these healthier lives will start getting covered by health and life insurance so it's a very unique model where we don't sell life and health insurance but that is the outcome of people living healthy on the platform which is why if you see goki's north star is not weight loss or any other metric for us the north star is longevity our goal is to make people live longer and healthier lives and in india this is a huge problem our life expectancy is only 67 68 compared to japan and other markets where people are living 85 86 87 and more so clearly uh, i think as our gdp grows you know to 5 trillion i think as a metric uh, you know uh, and i i am sure the government is thinking about it with fit india and all these initiatives that we need to invest in the health of our citizens and make them live longer and healthier Right, uh, Vishal. I also want to talk a little bit about uh, the kind of uh, expansion that you're seeing, or uh, you know, and the kind of adoption that you're seeing in the smaller cities, in the tier two, tier three cities. Or what kind of metrics do we have out there in terms of paid subscribers? Because of course, paid subscribers is an important and integral part of Koki's growth story. So, fifty-five to sixty percent of our users come from smaller cities and towns. 
55%. That's how it is. And the reason also is because of lack of access. You know, people in cities still have access to gyms or dietitians or nutrition experts and so on and so forth. But in, in clearly when we come to, uh, you know, the smaller cities and towns, they don't have access to this. But today what we have done is we have democratized access to quality preventive health care. You could be sitting anywhere from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, but you could be still connected to the best health coach. You could still get advice from the best doctor and you will still get monitored with the state of the art devices. So I think remote care is really going getting mainstream. And I think in the future, as you know, what I believe is between your phone and your wearable device, all your diagnostics will be available online with you. So today we are taking blood pricks to get glucose, you know, blood glucose or you know, LD, LDL, HDL levels and so on. I think very soon, uh, and of course this technology will get more and more accurate, uh, but the bottom line is that if you can get real-time data of your health, what will you do to change your behavior? Imagine if you just have uh, you know, a, a stressful environment or you have something which is a junk food and we could give you an alert saying that, hey, you've just done this. Why don't you counteract your, uh, your current habit by doing this live? So that's the kind of uh, advice we want to get into where algorithms are going to work with humans to help other people become healthy. All right, Vishal. Uh, final question before I let you go. Uh, five years down the line, where do you see Goki? Well, five years down the line, uh, Goki will continue in its mission because our mission is long term, right? When I'm talking about improving longevity, uh, it is it is a long term business for us. You know, we are going to be uh, you know different, but of course, in the next five years, we also see ourselves expanding into other markets. Actually, that got delayed because of COVID. As you know, there were several travel restrictions. Uh, you know, especially in a lot of these markets like Southeast Asia, uh, US, UK. So we focused at last two years within India itself. But now uh, we are going to start making forays outside of India and the platform is already built. We are now going to get strategic partners in each of these markets to roll out the strategy. So we are not going to go ourselves direct to consumer in these markets. I think the idea and the playbook would be followed something like a Vitality, which is very, very big in this space, who partners with several insurance companies. Uh, we will have partnerships either with healthcare providers, insurance companies, uh, or preventive healthcare experts in these markets. So uh, in five years, you will not only see us be uh, even larger in India, but you will also see uh, a significant international uh, footprint. That's what we are hoping. All right. We wish you all the very best in your journey, Vishal. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks a lot.